Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Jose Hernandez, and I wanted to start this off by asking guys a simple and basic question. How many of you guys have experienced your hypothalamus at work? <laughs> Let me rephrase that. How many of you guys have, at any point in your life, been afraid? All right, now keep your hands up. If you look around, ladies and gentlemen, the ones with their hands up, that is your average human being. The ones with their hands not raised, that is your average liar. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I know you're afraid. Yeah, it happens to everybody. It's a very common emotion to feel. Uh, and, you know, fears can range from anything as small as a roach to anything as odd as the number 13. Did you guys get that joke? That was lame. I told, I told my producer to not put that in there. Anyways, um, moving on. Uh, the first fear I'm going to be talking about is nyctophobia. If you guys know what that means, you can go ahead and shut that up. All right. It's uh, being afraid of the dark. Now, I don't care how old you are. At some point, you were afraid of the dark. If you were not, if you could go into a room at the age of three that was completely dark, and you could go five seconds without thinking of a monster, you are my hero. <laughs> now, it's, 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 a, it's a very normal thing to be afraid of the dark, mainly because you're missing one of your five major senses, and that's eyesight. If you can't see anything, you have no idea where the heck you're going. You could be afraid of bumping into a wall for all I care, but you're afraid of the dark. And I'm hoping to enlighten you guys uh, on you know, fears and getting a deeper understanding of them so that maybe at some point you can conquer those fears. So that's a basic fear, uh, the dark. We're gonna move on to a more ironic fear, okay? Uh, glossophobia. I know, I know, English please. Uh, stage fright, glossophobia. Uh, I did go and I did experience glossophobia at some point. Obviously I overcame it, otherwise I wouldn't be here, I'd be standing, hugging that curtain over there. Uh, glossophobia, a lot of people would say, is the fright of being on stage and performing in front of a lot of people. That's obviously not the case, because if you think about it, you aren't afraid of walking on a stage, because anybody can come and walk on a stage, it's, it's ground. You're afraid of going on stage and missing up, like messing up like I did just now. Uh, in public, and you're afraid of that. You're, you're afraid of being embarrassed in front of a lot of people uh, and being judged for the errors that you've committed. Uh, it happens to everybody, you know? It's fears, like I said, are a normal thing, and you shouldn't be ashamed of them. Uh, if anything, you should try and conquer them to make yourself better. Now we're gonna go speak about a more uh, obscure and uh, complicated fear, which is monophobia. The fear of being alone. Now, I, I don't mean being alone in a room for like five seconds or going to the restroom by yourself. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about being alone and thinking to yourself that you're going to be alone for the rest of your life. If you know a cat lady in your apartments that has 24 cats named Boots, Bells, Snow, they have monophobia. They're afraid of being alone, so they get cats. Like I said, monophobia affects a lot of people. Uh, they just don't know it because they've never been alone. Uh, in Germany, they did a test on humans, and uh, they put one human aside, and they didn't let him uh, have any physical contact with any other human. That man went insane, because just like water and just like food, human contact is something us humans need. We can't, maybe we can spend, what, two, three days without it, but after four days, if you find, I don't know, like a piece of lint on the ground, you're gonna start talking to it. You need to talk to somebody. You, you can't, you can't. Um, so yeah, like I said, uh, that's what I'm here for, to explain to you guys these little bits and pieces of fear and how maybe if you understand a fear, uh, you can better find a way to get over it. Like I said, uh, humans 
also have a very common fear called xenophobia, which is the fear of the unknown or uh, strangers or foreigners. And that's because humans are afraid of what they don't understand. If, if, you, were, if you encountered an alien right now, you'd honestly point, scream, and find the nearest exit. Xenophobia. But like Theodore Roosevelt once said, or I believe it was Franklin D. Roosevelt actually, uh, he said, the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. So I hope you guys gained anything from this, and I hope that you guys conquer your fears.